We're hearing from Sony Pictures executives on the status of its, uh, rather its proposed Summerlin movie studio just days after Warner Brothers announced its plans in a partnership with UNLV. Now, construction of the studios hinges on lawmakers approving Nevada's film tax credit in February. 8 News Now's Ryan Tismaneski, he breaks down the status of Summerlin Studios. The team behind Summerlin Studios is confident in their plan, saying they're ready to put a shovel in Summerlin ground as soon as Nevada's film tax credit passes. Assuming the credit does pass, Sony Pictures Entertainment CEO Tony Vinciquera says it still won't need to kick in for at least another year after construction. The state will not have to put a nickel out until production actually happens. We and Howard Hughes are going to put $500 million in the ground before we have one shot, one shot done. That half a billion dollars Vince Aquera mentions is how much the studio is going to cost Sony and the Howard Hughes Corporation to build. The CEO of the Hughes Corporation, David O'Reilly, says once it's built, the studio is there to stay. So you don't get the credits just for production. You A, have to have local talent working on the site. You have to build permanent facilities. And we have a long-term commitment to make sure those permanent facilities are going to be used. Speaking of local talent, O'Reilly and Vince Aquera both emphasized that the city's already existing entertainment industry has a workforce that can be easily trained for film and TV. And for crews who have to come here from Hollywood... They can go home on weekends instead of having to go and live in Georgia or New York or New Jersey for three months. That is such an attraction. With the need of the tax credit approval and the construction of the studio, it's still a few years before it's potentially lights, camera, action in Summerlin. Ryan Tismaneski, 8 News Now. That was Ryan Tismaneski reporting, one of the new members of our team. Welcome aboard, Ryan. In an earlier interview with 8 News Now, David O'Reilly said the studio could bring 10,000 jobs to the Valley.